Good evening. You're watching the news on Croatian television. Several thousand Croatian football fans have descended upon Kaliningrad to watch Croatia's first World Cup game against Nigeria. Some made the journey by plane, others by car or bus, and some even cycled there. At the same time, the Croatian Chamber of Commerce has put on a business event in Russia's westernmost city to showcase Croatian products. Croatian businesses are looking to tap into Russia's huge market of 150 million consumers, but trade over the past few years has taken a nosedive. Of course there is a crisis. The sanctions have taken a toll, so we've dropped from 3.4 billion U.S. dollars in trade to under 1 billion. We sell to all the major auto parts producers on the Russian market. We produce construction materials. We came here to Russia to get a sense of the market. Our interest is to export some of our products to Russia. Illegal migration was one of the key issues addressed at the regional Europa Forum in Austria. Ahead of the meeting, Prime Minister Andrei Plenković met with his host, Austrian Chancellor Sebastian Kurz, whose country is taking over the EU's presidency next month. Austria has said it will focus special attention to issues that threaten stability in Southeast Europe and the fight against illegal migration. What is important is an approach that will try to solve the problem at its source, providing assistance to Greece, Italy and Malta, the countries that are on the front lines of the central and eastern Mediterranean routes. Croatia is doing a good job protecting its border. We've invested a lot in the technical infrastructure, using the funds we received to prepare for the Schengen area. We want the 6,000 Croatian police officers guarding our border to be well equipped and motivated to protect our country from illegal migration. Croatian police opened a new headquarters in Zadar for coordinating security during the tourism season. Croatia expects to welcome some 18.5 million visitors during the summer. Interior Minister Davor Bojinovic said the new center aims to ensure the higher standards of public safety and security. All the incoming information will be channeled into this center and decisions on allocating resources and deploying forces will be made here. It is here in Zadar, but it is a national level institution. Local residents in Petrčane near Zadar protested today because a wall raised by the Port Authority is blocking their view of the sunset. The wall is part of a wider renovation of the village's waterfront. Residents, particularly those who offer accommodations to tourists, say the project has ruined the best view of the sunset in the village. They have boxed us in like we're in a camp. Over there, they are expanding the shore. Isn't this public land? Let's wait until the project is completed. If local residents aren't happy, even though I believe most of them will be, with this new feature right in the heart of the town, then we'll try and find a solution to lower the wall. Along with some 50 cities around the world, Pula is marking Bloomsday, a celebration of the life and work of Irish writer James Joyce. Bloomsday is observed annually on June 16th, the day depicted in Joyce's novel Ulysses and named after the novel's protagonist. Pula is particularly proud of the fact that Joyce happened to live there for a brief period. The eighth edition of Bloomsday was inspired by Marilyn Monroe, who was a great fan of James Joyce. We discovered quite an intellectual side to her that she kept secret. She prepared for her roles by improvising parts of Ulysses. She would read her favorite episode from the novel Penelope. 700 cyclists competed today in the Adria Bike Marathon at the Plitvice Lakes National Park. The tough race continues to attract more and more cyclists who are drawn to a steep, challenging course that takes riders up 1,650 meters of vertical ascent. This is my third time. The first time was a bit rough. I fell, but since then I've been riding well for the past two years. I think this is great. It's interesting. I like the atmosphere. As far as the course is concerned, we'll survive. The course is quite rough because there was a lot of rain. My colleague went out this morning to inspect it and the rain had washed a lot of mud onto the track. The eastern Croatian town of Beli Manastir is holding its annual Bean Stew Festival. Fifty teams fired up their outdoor cooking pots to prepare their signature bean recipes in the hope of passing on these traditional dishes to the next generation. 
We've been putting on this bean stew festival for 17 years running in an effort to preserve the traditional foods of this region and beyond, from Herzegovina, Hungary and Serbia. We also have guests from Međimurje. Everyone presents their traditional dish and we have a good time. The goal is to nurture our culinary heritage. I think that when people come here from all over Europe and try our bean stew and other delicacies, they are impressed. In sports, Croatia's Franko Škugor and partner Dominik Inglot have won the doubles title at the ATP tournament in Hertogenbosch, the Netherlands. They beat Michael Venus of New Zealand and Raven Klassen of South Africa in straight sets. This is their second doubles title this year. It will be partly sunny in most of Croatia on Sunday. The north coast can count on mostly sunny weather, while parts of the interior, particularly the east, interior Dalmatia and the far south may see some scattered showers. There will be moderate northeasterly and northwesterly winds on the coast with high gusts in the Velebit area. Morning lows will range from 13 to 18 inland and from 19 to 23 on the coast. The day's highs will be between 25 and 30 degrees, slightly cooler in the mountains. Partly sunny weather with the odd afternoon shower is expected in the interior early in the new week. There will be a rising north-northeasterly which will fall by midweek. Temperatures will rise on Wednesday but remain steady until then. On the coast, it will be mostly sunny and very warm next week. Nighttime temperatures will also be quite warm. Chances of afternoon showers are very slim and limited mostly to the far south. There will be a moderate northeasterly. High northeasterly winds are expected late Tuesday, particularly in the Velebit area. And that brings us to the end of the news. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again tomorrow.